Tell me what you want from me. Take a look at what you see. Let me know if this right here is something you can have for years. Okay. Namaste. Namaste, kings and queens. Thank you so much for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a present. So it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I am sending you all peace, healing, love, and prosperity. Also health and well. Before I hop into this reading, do me a favor, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. And hit the bell. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right. So we're going to just hop in. This is a collective love reading. Um, see what's going on with the collective. See what spirit has to say. Tell me what you want from me. Take a look at what you see. Let me know if this right here. So somebody wants you to talk. Somebody wants you to speak up. Somebody wants you to let them know like how you really feel. All right. I'm also I'm also seeing and I'm hearing somebody wants you to show them. All right. Holy Spirit. Provide messages for the collective, please. Messages for the collective. Love messages. What's going on? Messages from the person. These could also be messages from you. Okay, so just always take it how it resonates. Energy is fluid. No specific sign. No specific gender. Holy Spirit. Messages for the collective, please. I'm not a choice or an option. Period. Yeah. I feel like this is you, collective. Letting somebody know about themselves. Telling somebody like, look, I'm not a choice or an option. You guys could be dealing with somebody who's like a player play girl play boy somebody who's used to getting what they want used to getting their way used to talking their shit i feel like you guys are shutting them down additional messages somebody has a stink attitude mm. you can't hurt me anymore bam you can't hurt me anymore. I'm not a choice or an option, and you can't hurt me anymore. All right? So I'm definitely getting the energy that a conversation was had. I'm also getting this conversation was face-to-face. -face. I'm definitely getting the energy of somebody trying to come back, though. Yeah, divine feminine here. Um, somebody trying to rekindle their relationship because they feel like you're their soulmate. Or you feel like this person is your soulmate. But it could very well be a karmic soulmate here. We have Divine Feminine. Oh, you guys can't see that. We have Divine Feminine. We have your, my tears have healed my heart. So you guys have definitely cried over this situation. We have soulmate. All right. And then we have karmic soulmate. So some of you guys could be very well dealing with this Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine. Um... And you feel as if it's your soulmate. For some of you, it's actually a karmic soulmate. Um, for a lot of you, you could be in separation with the karmic um, or with the divine masculine or feminine and dealing with the karmic soulmate. All right. Um, you guys are telling this person they can't hurt you anymore. You guys are trying to move forward. You guys are trying to move away from this person. Yeah, you can't hurt me anymore. I'm definitely going to clarify that because I feel like somebody 
And we have different love languages. Yeah, you love differently. Then we have I love you, babe. It's like somebody is trying to gaslight or somebody is trying to convince that this can work. That we are meant to be. I'm feeling insecure in the middle of the deck here. Yeah, somebody doesn't understand the five love languages. And I feel like um, I'm definitely getting the energy of you've expressed to this person like on numerous occasions. Um, how you love, how you receive love, how you give love. This person doesn't understand that. They, they're on a whole different plane. I was on the plane with Dwayne. Mm -mm -mm. They call me Hill Main. Listen, I'm the baddest in the school, the baddest in my lane. Nicki Minaj, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, somebody not understanding you the baddest. You the baddest at what you do. You're the baddest. Okay, somebody tried to play you. You can't hurt me anymore. Yeah, look. It's four of, uh, four of cups. I feel like you definitely pulled away from somebody. It could be somebody in the limelight or this is you in the limelight. Six of wands here. Um, I feel like somebody just didn't know your worth. Mm, nine of wands here somebody definitely um like i said is like trying to make a situation something and in all actuality it's nothing it's empty as fuck no substance no forward movement no emotion wow look five of pentacles five of pentacles i do get an energy um of somebody like with the tears have healed my heart, like somebody like cried for so many days. I'm, I'm getting five, four to five days here over a situation, over a connection, over a breakup. Like you actually lost weight, stressing or crying over this relationship. All right. Or this is your person. Five of Pentacles. Somebody definitely got left out in the cold, which I already seen that. But why? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? I'm really getting the energy of like personalities not mixing well. Incompatibility. You're just not compatible. You don't mesh well. Magician here. All right. Virgo, Gemini energy. Really all signs in this card. I feel like, um, like I said, energies are not mixing well personalities are not mixing well with the magician card here i'm getting scientific mixtures but this is also giving me like your birth charts just don't mix why is the magician here Why is the magician here? The sun is setting y'all. Hmm, sunset. Something could be happening under a moonlight. Six of cups in reverse. I'm telling y'all, this person does not want to let go or this is you. But yeah, with the hermit card, somebody keeps ghosting. Somebody keeps disappearing. Somebody recognizes that this, this is not going to go anywhere and then somebody else is like no no stay like we can make it work we have the queen of wands here very confident very self-reliant very self um aware sometimes i just heard six of cups in reverse is somebody not letting go of the past yeah then we have the eight of swords somebody is definitely in their head they're mind fucking themselves could be an air sign somebody is like really stuck over you i feel like somebody got manipulated early on in a relationship okay and now you're stuck this is either you collective or your person but somebody's mentally bound to a relationship. 
Yeah, then we have the Six of Swords. Somebody needs to move forward to calmer waters. Look, Nine of Swords. If you don't, this could be trouble. This, this could be detrimental to your mental health. Somebody, okay, may develop or have has developed schizophrenia. Or that's something that they tell people that they are as an excuse to do crazy ass shit is what I'm hearing. Hmm. What's next for this connection? We have Gemini energy. North Node Gemini, I believe. Um, two of Swords, making a decision. There's a strong and important decision that you need to make. I feel like it's going to have a lot to do with the outcome of your life. Not meaning like, you know, anything bad happening or anything like that, but where your life goes, okay? As far as your career, your money, your path, your purpose, things like that. Okay, because there could be somebody who really tries to take you off your path here. We have the Emperor. Okay, you could be dealing with an Aries here. Why is the, um, why is the Emperor here? This is for what's next. I feel like some of you guys are taking your power back. Our spirit is saying you need to take your power back. Because somebody has you mentally gone. Like, man. the emperor here six of wands yeah so that's definitely giving me the energy of taking your power back um being able to live a successful and fruitful life okay um i'm also getting the energy you can very well live this sex successful and fruitful life without a partner until the divine sends you exactly who you need to be with okay you don't have to be with somebody collective in order to be successful or in order to be happy this could be um the divine um putting you in a situation where you love and learn yourself all right and you be fruitful and abundant um by yourself okay be able to point to yourself because when you're in a relationship you get caught up Caught up, got me feeling it. Caught up. Yeah, Capricorn energy. What is the advice for the collective? Yeah, it's getting dark, y'all. I'm gonna head out. What is the advice? Holy Divine Spirit. What is the advice for the collective? Wow. Sustain and maintain your emotional awareness. You need to really get yourself together emotionally. I feel like if you do continue on in this relationship or this situation, you're just going to end up in heartbreak. Emotionally unfulfilled. That's why I said it's a, it's, it's a need to pour into yourself. You need to be truthful. Knight of Swords here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and end it there, y'all. It's like the, the sun literally went down on us. So I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you subscribe, like, and hit the bell. And I will see you guys next time.